afternoon fellow decorators of the interweb painters and decorators around the world thanks for joining me now today it's a bit of an unusual one I'm not one for being sent things and I'm not one for promoting other people's products far from it I'm here as an ordinary painter and decorator to tell you a few tips tricks on how to do our trade if you're still learning or if you the golden nuggets that make our job a bit easier because I'm always the one to say let's work smarter not harder well you're probably um, aware that I do a bit of spraying I'm not the god of spraying I don't want to say I'm a spray god I'm far from a spray god but I do do quite a bit of spraying when I need to probably over the last 25 years been spraying um, can remember back in the day we were doing a Leicester um, factory a factory down in Leicester um, it was it was interesting because we hired a spray sprayer from a local high shop it came and I knew more about the sprayer just through what I did at college than what the people did selling me well I say selling me hiring out the sprayer before I even started I had to strip it down and I cleaned it so that's 25 years ago roll on all that time over the years we've bought more sprayers they fell by the wayside and we bought other ones and we've come up to where we are today i've probably got three three sprayers on the go at the moment i've got um, a greco that's a gx ff fine finish that's with the hopper i've got a, a titan 440 xt that's a bit bigger one i've also got that um, the spray man 24 litre um, conventional sprayer which you've seen on some of your other videos for spraying the fleck we just use that really for spraying the fleck the, you know the flake that's on another video please search it out and then we've got HL, uh, HVLP which is a stage 5 um, QT5 now we all laugh because people want to, want to get into spraying and I've seen this last week Lidl this is in the UK Lidl have had an airless paint sprayer on sale now it's a hundred and twenty nine pounds can you believe it a hundred and twenty nine pounds that's just obscene and I was a bit like that shall I buy one shan't I buy one I'm not sure but then obviously doing the family shop yesterday well I say doing the family shop I was helping my wife um, push the trolley round Lidl now this is Lidl in Netherfield in Nottingham it's not um, it's not the most affluent area of the city let's just put it that way i'll leave it there it's not the most affluent area but i saw one of these parkside sprayers 129 pounds have i told you it's 129 pounds and i thought should i get one just to see what it's like it's worth a punt at 125 pounds don't you think so anyway i saw one of the managers walking around and i said to him i says these airless sprayers you've got do you get many in he goes we get two per store now whether it's just doing with the sales patter he's told me he's got two per store or in the all in the region all in the area of nottingham two per store and he says one's already sold and there's one on the side and i looked at him i said i've got to have i've got to have that sprayer so he brought it over to me and i've told him i says i do a bit of spraying as i say not a spray god but i do know how to spray i like me spraying and i thought I'll get one of these, do a bit of a review on it. Is it as good or is it as bad as what people make out? I'm not sure. But what I'm going to do today, can you just see behind me there? See that blue thing? Doris the door. It's Doris the door. I thought I'll get one. I've not even opened it yet. I'm going to do a review opening it like live on YouTube so you can see what it's like now oh, stop i'm back we're just talking about doris the door there we could try this out on doris the door i've got some paint let's see how we go can you focus in on me yeah so as i was saying because i just got cut off then it's not been opened i'm going to open it and we're going to look at it together and then if i can get it rigged up i've got my book here i've got my spray mask i've got my overalls I've got some paint that's already thin because I've used it on a previous job a few weeks ago. Um, it's Ticarilla Everol Aqua um, paint, so it's a finished paint. That could go over my Farrow and Ball water-based paint, no problem. So if we've got time, we'll do a bit of a quick rig up. We'll look at what's in the box and uh, we'll see how we go. What I'm thinking, because let's give the conclusion, what I'm thinking now and probably what you're thinking, £129, how good is it going to be? 
I can't see if it's going to be any good. I've got spray guns that are 200 pounds. A spray gun, 200 pounds. That's before you bought filters, before you built, uh, bought um, spray tips that, what, 25, 30 quid for a decent spray tip. 129 pound, can't be any good, can it? Can't be, can't possibly be any good. Or you're going to tell me, you buy it, Phil, and use it for wash coating. Well, if you can use it for wash coating, you can use it for emulsioning, spraying your ceilings out, even if you just spray ceilings out. So what I'm going to say to you now, my conclusion is, it ain't going to be very good. I might be surprised, it ain't going to be very good. It is what it is, £129. Or, am I going to be really surprised and say, why do I need to be spending £12, £13, £1400 pounds on an Ellis sprayer for the general domestic painter and decorator? And that's what I'm talking about. I'm not on about if you're doing spraying every single day, 24 hours a day spraying, on big contracts, no, you will be looking at the expensive gear, won't you? Sure, you surely would be looking at expensive gear. But if you're an ordinary painter and decorator or a DIYer that wants to do a bit of, bit of spraying or get into spraying, what can go wrong with £129? I don't think much can go wrong with £129. I don't think you can go wrong with it. I'm going to tell you how to set it up, I'm going to tell you how to do a bit of spraying. Tape up your room, tape up your light fitting. That's only one thing you've got to tape up on a ceiling. Could you use this for spraying? I think you could. If you've not jumped in with both feet yet for spraying, £129 can get you a sprayer that you can see whether you like spraying or not. If you're a DIYer, spraying's not as easy as you think. Don't let anybody tell you it's easy, it's not. There's a lot to it. You've got to get your spray tips right, you've got to get your thickness of your paint right, you've got to get your pressure right. Get that wrong, you'd use it once and never use it ever again. But if you're willing to learn, willing to listen to Phil Beckwith, the professional and professional painter and decorator, we joke about that, don't we? There's other people on YouTube, you can watch them about spraying. There's plenty that's shown you how to spray, get you into it. But for you, if you're just getting into spraying or you're a decent DIY that wants to try one of these, let's open this box, let's see what's in it, let me talk you through it and we'll see what we can come up with. But for a start, £129. Did I tell you, it says on there, three year warranty. Three year warranty. How many of you big boys are doing spray equipment with a three year warranty? I've got the receipt, £129. Keep telling you, £129. What was the pump packs in after six months? You take it back, you get your money back, or they'll give you a new one. I'm sure that's what happens. Sorry about that, chillings. I just saw the front door of the house open and there was nobody there. How spooky is that? Mind you are coming up to Halloween. <sighs> no, so back. So you might be getting into spraying and think £129 worth of punt. Three year warranty? Can't go wrong, can you? Why do you need to spend £1,500? Probably you don't. Let's see. Right, so I'm going to get a blade, Stanley blade. Just going to cut it open and we'll see what's in it. Right, quickly look on the box. Looks a nice bit of kit. Doesn't weigh very much. Weight, brilliant. You're in a domestic house, you want to be carrying it up and downstairs. Don't weigh a lot. Now this is a airless sprayer. I'm going to jump about. Loads of information. Airless sprayer. It's not on a hopper. You've got no gravity feed, it's suction feed. That means you get the hose, put it straight into your paint. Might have to thin the paint, different paints, different thicknesses, but literally hose into the paint, turn it on, There'll be a prime, primer there, yeah, see that? Turn it, purge all the air out of the system, let the pump pump the paint up, get it all into the pipe, and away you go. It's quite simple, dead easy. Everybody can do it, everybody is doing it. Maybe not, oh, right, let's get it open. What shall I do, shall I? Get you like that. Yeah, you've got me, so we're gonna open it up. Then I'll put it on the floor. Right, while I'm opening it, I'm just looking at the box. I can see it's got a spray gun in it. It's got a couple of spray tips. Looks like it's got a couple of filters. Literally. Look at this, opening it up with a blade. Never been opened. Watch my fingers. Oh. Look at this. Never been opened. Quite lucky. Right. Well packed. Do you know what? I've got to take you off the stand to show you this. 
lift the stand up. You see this? In the box. That's how much area it's taking up in the box. When I think I've got spray equipment, and it weighs a ton. It's mad. Right. Let's see what I've got in here. Right. right. Let's take the box out first. What's in the box? Oh, oh you know what I'm like about sexy guns. Look at that. Look at that sexy gun. Red. What's my Ferrari red? Or what about my Porsche? I think. You know when I get my Porsche out to YouTube monitories? Might be a red one. Might be. Right, I've just unlocked it. There's a. Let's put that There's things in that box. Right, this is the gun. If you know you're about spraying, you know about guns. Right, so you've got your, your guard, you've got your tip. What tip is it? That's a 517. You see that? That's the standard. That's That'll be ideal for emulsions. Right, just unscrewing it. Feels a bit, feels a bit rough if that makes sense. Right, right. got your tip guard. You've got your, your seat for you. See that you got one of those in it. That's what your needle seat sits against. Right. It's that there. Yeah. Screw that on. If you watch some of my other videos, I tell you how to set up your spray guns and your hoses I always put a bit of Vaseline on now when I come to use this I'll put a bit, bit of Vaseline on all the threads that's so it doesn't stick I'm trying to get that on I don't want to cross thread it yeah that but it doesn't stick so a bit of yeah a bit of Vaseline on there feels a bit do not feel as smooth and as finished off but it does look nice right you've got your guard you got your spray tip, stand back a bit. You got your safety latch. Currently that's on lock. You turn it yeah that way. And it releases it. Right, I'm hoping it's a bit like some of my other guns, looks like it. But squeeze that trigger in. I can I pull that down? Yeah, I can pull that out. That's the hand guard. And I think if I twist it. I've not read any instructions. Yeah. For it a bit stiff, that doesn't need to be as stiff as that. You unscrew that, it's like a standard gun, really. Unscrewing it, see so if there's a filter in it. There should be. Oh, look at that, it's a white filter. How does that come out? Oh, if I broke it, I don't know. Does it unscrew? Is it reverse thread screw? See the holes in it, it was a bit oily. Do you know what? I might have to look at the instructions whether the filter comes in and out like that. For now, put that back on, put the cap back on. A white filter's not bad, that's standard really for a 517. That's really ideal for spraying emulsions. So let's just put that back on. It looks quite nice being black. I know when, once we start spraying it'll be covered in stuff. Right, put that back on. It's very chips dropped out. That's something else that I just put a bit of Vaseline on when I put it in. I don't know whether these are interchangeable yet. I've brought my box of tricks with spray tips and stuff. Tighten that down, stop the needle coming out. So. That's that, push that into there, that clips in, put the lock on, right that's that. I'm happy with the spray gun, so can you see that? Let's just call it basic, let's just call it basic. It's nothing like a tri tech 360 or a 380 two finger, it's just a basic spray gun. What else was in the box? Right, you've got a yellow filter. Now a yellow filter is probably ideal for spray tips. Um, point what 12 13 14 you may push to a 15 before you go on to a white one anything below a point 12 orifice size on your spray tip drop down to a red filter but I think that that's not bad that's 
that's what you'd use for probably woodwork let's see what the spray tip is with that brilliant oh look at this what a surprise it's got another spray tip in it let's open it up it's a 311 now if you don't know about spray tips and numbers i've got a video on that what do the spray tip numbers mean you got your three at the beginning that gives you roughly about a six inch fan pattern the 11 is 0.11 that's an orifice size so where i was saying about probably from about 0.12 that's going to be ideal so you've got 311 to use with that yellow filter a lot finer now the red filters i've got on the other spray guns that spray with i uh, spray with a 208 206 310 210 that'd be a red filter that's even finer for finish but that will be all right and we'll try it with that with that 3 11 so that's quite good how good they'll be i don't know you might wear dead quick because they're cheap but 129 pound right so we've got that can you see me all right yeah oh it's in the box you got the um you got the hose that will connect up right i think on the side of the box there's a working hose of nine meters so that is quite it's a good that's a good length got your back a bit more nine meters that's pretty good isn't it it looks actually quite it's not a particularly thick hose i'm not saying quite whip hosey but it's nine meters on there and then let's get the bad boy out that's what it's all about proper raw telly isn't it raw YouTube never been out the box before Wow I think David Attenborough the amount of plastic on this I think he'd have a hissy fit but do you know what ever so light really light so what have we got I'll put it on my stand so if we can go to my stand without breaking it yeah, let's cock me down so we can have a look at it. We Doris the door. So uh, see if we can focus on that. Yeah, I'll crouch down to it so you can see me. Right, so this is when we're on about suction hoses. Here's the hose. Looks very, very basic. It looks like something you'd have connected to your your pump pump in your garden. So let's pull all these off. That, well we call that a rock guard if we're on a, a proper spray equipment. It's quite a fine mesh on that, it's all right. Yeah, it's quite a fine mesh. You see that everybody. Those that know about spraying, that's not gonna pull too much paint through if it's quite thick. Doesn't matter, we'll see how we go. We can even pull that out if we needed to, couldn't we? A bit sneaky. So we've got, Rock guard on there, that pulls your paint up through the bucket. Goes all the way up through there. Take it, the pumps in here. And then when we connect up the hose for the sprayer, that goes from there out. This, which I've unclipped, this is your priming hose. So when we've got your paint wanting to go up, when people say, oh, my, my gun's not spraying, you might just need to turn your, your knob. You see that knob there from spray to prime. We'll come on that in a minute. So yeah, a bit basic, but it is what it is. £129 worth of sprayer. That might be as good as your £1,200 sprayer. Right, let's get that. I can't even get that back on, it's that tight. We'll move on from that, I'll do that in a minute. Right. There's a three metre 240 volt plug on there. So this isn't for commercial use as in 110 on a site this is going to be ideal for working in somebody's private house pump right let's have a look we've got a line up there we've got off a one a two a three a four and a five that'll be spray pressure i take it five will be the most maximum well let's have a look what's it say on the side right we're maximum there's 110 bar right i don't know what that is in psi i'm going to have to google it and then Put a bit of an edit onto the um, screen to tell you what that is but 110 bar i'm not going to be spraying it 110 bar 
those that know about spraying, those that are getting into spraying, the lower the pressure, really the better. If you're spraying emulsion, you might be spraying at 1500, you might see 2200, it depends on your thickness of your paint, your spray tips, where you're spraying, and it's your control. Don't worry about a bit of overspray because you can tweak that, you'll get that all sorted out once you get into it. But for now, we're not going to spray at maximum, we'll be spraying less than that. So I'd like to think that. I won't be at five, I might be at three, but until I spray, I don't know. There's no gauge on here to tell me what pressure I'm spraying at, but I say I'll Google 110 bar, I'll tell you what that is. What else it's in my box? Right, it's a maximum um, paint flow, um, I can't even say it, through flow, uh, 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 yeah, why? It'll do 1250 millilitres a minute. Is that good or bad? Look, I'm a layman painter and decorator. I'm not technical on that. Is that good or bad? How does that compare to my, my um, Greco or the Titan? I'm not sure. We're not going to worry because it's, it's the finish. It's like playing golf. It's not how, it's how many. We want to know what the finish is like. So for that, I'm quite happy. What have we got on the back? Let's swivel this round. There's a little, I'm not saying to put me snap in it, my sandwiches, but there's a little storage holder there. I think my storage holder, yeah, you can put your spray tips in there in the bag and shut it down. That's quite handy, isn't it? Yeah. So we're not bad, are we? I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to spin it round again. I'm going to cut you off because I'm going to connect that back up. I'm going to unclip this hose and I've got my little unclippers to where are we? snap all these off let's get all these off like that I'm going to connect it up and when you come back I'll have it all connected up I'll flush some water through it and then shall we see a bit of paint I can do that so see you in a couple of minutes you see me while I've been away, I've just been connecting up the hose. I'll just bring you on to that. Connected the pressure hose, not right there. Bit of Vaseline on the thread, just nipped it up. With, just with the pliers, just nipped it up tight. But then I've come to swap out. I'm gonna put you down. I've just come to swap out. If I can get you dropped. I've come to swap out. The white, the white filter from the gun, right? Now managed to get it out, but seemed to have like a another. See that there? Another like washer that was in there, and that came out with it. I think that should really be pushed all the way in, and I might just tap it in, get it all the way in. I'll try and get it all the way in into there well anyway if I push that back in I might be able to get it in I don't know but there's a little rubber black washer there that's not on the yellow one so I'm going to get I'm going to get that off just carefully with a blade don't want to cut it off but yeah I've just lifted it off I'm just going to swap it put that little you see it off oh, yeah O-ring and I'm going to put it onto that end of the yellow. Now if I read the instructions it might tell me to do that but I've not read the instructions because obviously I know everything about spraying. Who reads the instructions? So that's now on there. A little bit concerned so in effect I'm not using that. That white one use it for spraying your walls. So I'll just put that to the side. What I want to do I might have to get in my toolkit and see if I can just pry that in. Bear with me. I've got a little screwdriver, I'll see if I can just pull it out. It's coming out. Can I get it out? Not sure. 
think it's coming. I might try and just I'll tell you what, I might even put the handle back on. You got me there. I'll try and screw the handle on, it might just push it into place. Can't even move it, can't even get it on. Is that why we're only £129 we say? Quite possibly. Let's see if we can tap it in. Stab my finger and I'm bleeding. We've got a hammer now. Let's see if we can. So I don't think that should have come out. Not sure. I'm trying to put that back in there. I'm going to try, I'm going to stop you for now and I'll come back once I've got that back in. So, bye. Back with you. Back with you. Now, that piece of plastic I managed to get in. I'll just prise it out with a screwdriver. It actually came out quite easy. I put it in flat and I used the end of the handle and just rotated it round to push that into place. Now, looking at it, I mean, don't forget, I keep telling you, £129. We're not expecting a Rolls Royce sprayer, are we? But we've got to get it right. So that there, I'm taking it. Now I've got that rubber O-ring on. We'll just sit into that little cup down there. Because if you think, the paint will go through that. Oh, blow through it. And then out that hole. Now that hole there is obviously going to put it through to your spray gun. So that sits there got my Vaseline I'm going to put some Vaseline on the threads of the gun around there so that's what I do with all my threads so I'm going to practice all my threads on a sprayer so I'm going to put a sled slid that in there I'm hoping it will just seat nicely as I say a little bit rough on the threads Spinning it round nicely with the Vaseline. Hand tight. How tight can I get it? Oh, I can actually get it a bit tighter. Right. I've got it as tight as I can hand. Can I get it undone? Yeah, thanks to the Vaseline. So I've got it tight. No fear of that coming off. That swivels as well. That's good. So we're all right on the swivel. I'm going to put that handle back in. The guard. Oh. Guard just clips out. Put that back in, that's on. Right, and again, spray guard. It's got the seat in. Oh, can you get that in there? I keep forgetting, what do we call these? That's what the tip just sits against, like that. It's the seat in. Oh, can you see me? I just keep forgetting, it doesn't matter. So that fits into there. And it's the same one now if you're into your spraying you'll know that these are the things that wear and it wears depending on what sort of paint you're using make sure you seat it correctly that's right got some Vaseline on there as well got some Vaseline around the threads not a lot just enough to make it lubricated put that on there I have to say it's a very basic setup. Does it feel quality? Doesn't feel quality. Does it fit for purpose? Can't even get that in. Let's go and guide it with a little round screwdriver, get it in. It's in now. So put that on. Don't over tighten it because you want to get your needle in. Your spray needle. I'm thinking of HVLP. You want to get your spray tip in so I'm going not for the 517 517 what does that do let's go back to school right five is the front number that gives you your fan width five double it roughly about a ten ten inch spray fan pattern when you're spraying away from your surface and how far do you spray away from the surface we're spraying about a foot 30 centimeters 12 inches 
not using the 517 that's 17 thousandths of a mil of an inch whatever it is little hole but the bigger the number on there the larger the hole the more paint will go through it the thicker the paint I've touched on this on another video I'm trying to remember um, what I've told you and what I haven't but if you want to look back on what do the um, spray tip numbers mean look on the other video it's not a long one almost quite long so I'm going to be looking at spraying a 311 so 3 is going to give me roughly about a 6 inch spray pattern which is nice because I'm going to do this door is it Doris or Dora we've got to keep with Doris aren't we right so I've not over tightened that I'm going to try and move that round I'm not too happy about how that's seating see why there's not a lot going in let's have a look sit nicely in there it's not a very tight fit I'm trying to get the see I'm trying to get that to sit nicely into the right. we're in seated nicely it's loose it's not tight like some of the other spray guns that's in so I've got that in locked in place can we get it locking in place I don't think we can, I think that's it. It looks like it's lining up alright. It's not too worried about that then. So hold it like that so the that little seal doesn't drop out. Now can you remember what I've told you about the position of the guard? You see if the guard's like that you're gonna get a fan there. If the guard's that way, the fan's gonna be that way. Now this you just want to nip it up tight enough you can do it with your fingers but I'm a bit reluctant to do it with my fingers I'm just going to get just going to nip it up with that just to make that sweat. not a lot let me spray tip that's very interesting take out that and it makes all that spray guard very loose I think if you're not used to spraying you'll think that's how it should be now if you are used to spraying that feels very basic that should that should sit nicely on there you can take your needle out and you don't worry about that needle I keep calling it a needle I'm all about the spray tip Let's stick with that I've got it tight I'm just going to nip it up trusting it I'm happy enough with that now don't forget when you're not spraying turn it into the lock position turn it away from you when you're priming it again this is all stuff I've touched before if you're watching this for the first time I'm wanting to know how to use it now turn it the opposite way to the spray you know which way it sprays that's the opposite way when it's spraying that there can you see let's get you in focus with me it's like an arrow it's going to spray when you don't want it to spray and you want to prime or flush out the water you turn it the other way if you get a blockage you turn it that way blast it out blast blockage that's back into spray so for now I'm just going to shut it off so there's nothing there just in case so then to tell you it's 129 pound shall we see how we go I'm going to turn it off I'm going to get the machine flushing a bit of water that's just putting it in water and just flush a bit of water through it before we get the paint in it do you want to see that once again it's up and running I'll show you with a bit of water so for now let's stop you I'm back I've got some water out I don't know I'm not sure right let's tell you what I've done let's just quickly show you what this system is so I've got it plugged in I'm in my garage at home so I wanted to be outside but it started to rain right I've got bucket of water see that just clean water you've got your dial which is your on and off zeros off you got one two three four five the more you turn it up the more powerful it'll be 
again I'll, I'll come back to you with some overlays of what your 110 bar is right underneath can you see that let me down you see that I've got that tight I've had a bit of a spanner on it I've got a bit of a weep on it now that might be because it's new if I take it off and just reseal it I've got a feeling it's coming from there now if the spray is alright as a unit I might even swap the hose out for one I've got as long as the threads all right I just think it will be right if you're looking across there's a red little knob there now if you find that your paint is sticking and there's a ball bearing in there because it's a piston going that's your pump you might find your paint sticks to your ball bearing and it sticks and it stops pumping right if you press that every time that you start it up on each time you do a job you'll probably find that dislodges it I don't want to go into stripping a sprayer down because for 129 quid it's not the sort of thing I want to be doing at the minute right that would dislodge your ball bearing right at the minute I'm on spray if I turn it to there turning it down that's your prime so let's turn it up See? that's it's purging let's turn that that's purging all your air out of the machine it's sucking up sucking up the paint and pumping it round and then pumping it out right when you come to cleaning out this is the sort of thing you'll do you'll put water in it pump it down clean it out in there make sure your pressure's down and get your water going through there first and then spray it through your gun right i don't want to go on to that i just want to talk about this machine right i'm coming across to the the gun all right i've just had to nip tighten that up because i noticed when i tried it with a bit of water it was putting a lot of um, pressure on there and it was just weeping out so I've tightened that now if I'd got my Tritec gun or my Greco gun or even my Titan gun I know that that doesn't need to be as tight as what it is that I've got on here but hey ho I mean again I'm going to tell you 129 pound what do you expect it's not a problem is it I could swap my gun system I could swap the filters with my gun with the spray tips that I use but for now we're just trying it in with this 311 so let's see got nothing on there I'm just going to turn it on it's on prime I'm going to turn it to get it on three it's priming right I've turned it now to spray now the noise spray water that don't seem bad so what I'm going to do I'm just going to flush out the water and I'm going to get some paint in it and we're going to try and spray this door I might actually just put some paper on the door first <coughs> pumping itself might just put some paper on the door so I can just do a bit of practice before I spray now you know I'm into my masks and health and safety and when using sprayers health and safety don't put your hand in front of the tip guard and spray spraying it onto yourself it's I mean I remember it, just turn it off I remember at college we were talking about um, air pressure and um, it's as little as something like 5 psi can penetrate the skin and get a little bit of an air bubble going through your system and well it could kill you so little as 5 psi right I have got my spray gun uh, spray gun spray mask now Shall I put it on or not? I think I need to talk to you. You know I've got a spray mask. You know I would be normally spraying with a spray mask on, but I think for the benefit of this video, I'm not going to do it. Well, shall I? I'll see. If I've got a mask on, I have got a mask on. If I haven't got a mask on, it's because I really want to talk to you and just um, and explain it. But that's my Sunstrom spray mask I've had over 30 years. It's not the same filters because I swapped the filters with another video. But no, right, I'm going to flush out this water, I'm going to get some paint in it, I'm going to see what it's like. I'm going to put some paper on that door. So over and out for now, and I'll be back in a second. Just thought I'd show you how you just um, flushed out water. I've obviously took the water bucket away. I've put now it into the paint. You see that? Oh, oh into the paint. Turned it on, primed it, so the the pump picks up the paint 
and goes through the priming hose back into the paint. Now I want it to come out the gun now. So that's priming it, so I'm going to turn it to spray. Turn it to spray. So if we can keep that Not the easiest. Oh, I've got paint over my camera now. Oh dear me! It's not the easiest of hoses. Oh, brand new. I'm trying to get it right. Spin it round. Right. So now it's on spray. I've turned the tip round so it's on the soft tip, not as in the main spray. Can you see that? Guards off. As in. And I'm just spraying it into the bucket. And at the minute, at the minute, it's just pushing water through. We're waiting for it to spray a bit of paint through. Still water because there's nine meters of hose. Come on, don't come in. We've got nine meters of hose with water in. Now you'll know. You'll know when it's paint because at the minute the water runs down the side of the bucket straight down. When it becomes the paint, it'll go folds like cream. It'll do folds. Still waiting, still waiting. Still waiting. I can see it coming through because my water's changing colour. Right, we're nearly all the way through with that. Nine meters of hose. Can you see on the side of the bucket? It's actually, you see, it's folding like cream. That paint's actually quite thin, ready for spraying. So I'm all right. I'm just putting tip. I'm just going to put me guard on. Right, that's that. I'm happy with that. Move that bucket out of the way. I'm just going to come off now. I'm going to put some paper on that door and let's try it out. I'm just trying to get this. To stay upright like that. Might have to put a clip on it. Right, over and out, be back in a minute. I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. Right, I'm using Ticarilla. Those of you that know, I'm using Ticarilla Everall Aqua 10. Now that is a beautiful paint to spray. It's thinned, I've thinned it, it goes through my other machines fine. I've got this parkside sprayer up and running I've sprayed water through it I've tightened up all the um, the threads I've got no leaks anywhere I've just managed to prime it with the paint I've turned it to spray I'm using a 311 spray tip which should be fine for spraying this I mean I'd like a 310 but 311 fine to spray this do you know what I can't even get any paint out of the gun can't even get any paint out of the gun. I've turned it up, turned it down. I did get a little bit of a test going on there. And if you know about spraying, I got tails. So I started turning it up, started on two, went to three, to four, to five. I was at five, couldn't get anything through it. No paint whatsoever. So I've had a fiddle. I've reversed my tip to make sure it's not blocked. Turn my um, pump on, Try. I can't even prime it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just strip it down, see if there's any blockages in the pipes with the filters. I wouldn't like to say there was any block, I don't think there will be. My paint's beautiful. I mean, don't forget it's got that bit of a rock guard on that's quite fine. I've got that yellow spray guard in, um, spray filter in. A bit frustrated. Did I say £129? I'm at a loss. The pump's pumping, just can't get any paint through it. Now if this was one of my other machines, my GX FF, with my Triton, I'd strip it down dead easy, everything's easy to strip down. This, I'm even feeling I don't want to be stripping it down in case something happens. But I'm going to, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, I'm going to take the filters out, I'm just going to rinse them in the water, put them back in, and then see if it sprays. Now this paint, you say, fairly paint's too thick, it's in thick paint. I mean, it should go through that 
yellow filter no problem it should go through that spray tip no problem it's not thick paint it's not emulsion it's finishing paint it should be ideal on this so let me have a quick fiddle again I'll come back to you and give you a bit of an update but a bit annoyed at the minute it's seconds since I spoke to you started taking the um, spray tip out to release that so I could see if, get, if it was the spray tip just turn it on to dial one pressure one and um, I don't want anybody laughing at me don't can you see where that's coming from it's coming from the pump I'm at a loss. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm not even going to bother. I'm not even going to bother doing any more reviewing on this. I've said a couple of times £129. I can't be on a job or even just practicing. I'm only doing a review of doing a door with the best paint you can. It's not even cheap paint. I mean, how much is Everall Aqua? Those that know about paint, Everall Aqua 10, it's a 10 litre tub, we've got probably five litres of that. How much would that be? 50, 60 quid finish paint. And I've got a sprayer. I mean, talk about raw. We do videos raw. There's nothing straight out the box. You saw me get it straight out the box. And I've got paint everywhere. Now, how am I gonna fix that? I only bought it yesterday. Now I'm not saying it's no good, I'm not going to say they're all going to be rubbish, but I'm a professional, yeah, at some things. I'm a professional, I'm a professional painter and decorator that does spraying. I know how to spray, I know how to strip my machines down, I know how to work my machines. I get a lovely finish. We have repeat customers and I like what I do. I like the finish I can get. Even if I was just going to use this for mist coating, which a lot of people say, oh yeah, buy one of these for mist coating. I've not even got to the point of even practicing with it for mist coating. Because I'd have thought this would have been ideal for mist coating, emulsioning, bit of walls, ceilings, jobs are good. I know I might be asking a bit too much trying to do some um, wolf um, woodwork finish paint. But there's a 311 tip there. That should be ideal for me. It's got a yellow filter, that should be ideal for me. And I've got lovely Everall Aqua, which isn't cheap paint. What have I got? Paint all over my garage floor. Could you imagine if it was at a customer's house, or even in your own house, and you're having a practice with that? A bit disappointed. So, do you know what? I'm going to throw the towel in on this. I've got my receipt. It's got a three year warranty. I've not even had it, I've just, well, I've had it 24 hours, just a bit more, 24 hours. And I'm surprised because all the stuff I've had from Lidl, because it's from Lidl, Parkside, been really happy with. Do you know this disappointed me? But are we that disappointed that £129? I've got, got my box there. I've got spray guns in there, 200 quid. I've got spray tips, 30 quid. And now I've got a machine. 129 pound and there's paint everywhere so do you know what I'm going to do I'm going to have the next hour cleaning all that up boxing it back up neatly because I'm not one for just taking it back as it is but I think unfortunately I'm throwing the towel in this is going to be the end of the road for this machine but thanks for watching it's been an experience if you've got one of these machines have I done something wrong I don't think I've done anything wrong tell me but a bit disappointed Bye for now, see you on the next one. If you like it, subscribe. If you don't, thumbs down, thumbs up. I've done all that. I've not said it in this, I'll just muck set. See ya. <sighs> Never mind. Just a bit of a follow up from my disappointment. I've um, unplugged everything and started to clean it all up. I don't want anybody thinking that I'm just going to take it back with a load of paint everywhere. I've actually 
disconnected the two hoses, the prime hose and the um, suction feed hose. I've had my hose pipe and flushed them out so there's no paint in there. I've just rinsed off the bottom part with the hose pipe, keeping it dry best I can. And um, I don't want you to think I'm just taking it back in a bit of a state. Do the best I can, I'll pack it up. I've got the, the main thing that's probably full of paint that I can't get clean. It's the main paint hose. I'll pour a tight clip around it to keep it together, keep them upright. But no, a little bit disappointed, but I don't want people saying, told you so, you get what you pay for, buy cheap, pay twice. Yeah, we know all about that. But I wanted to try this to see whether you as a painter and decorator trying to get into um, spraying could get away with testing yourself out, learning, learning your trade, learning your skills off something that's £129. Get the basics, get a feel for it. It's not a fortune if it don't work out for you. It's not a fortune if it goes wrong. Thankfully, there's a three year warranty. But for me, I know what I'm doing. I know how to strip them down. I know how to get them working when there's a bit of a fault. This, I stripped the gun down. I've cleaned all the gun up. I took the filters out. Now, from me putting that original O-ring plastic in, the filter came out nicely, so that was probably just teething trouble with it being brand new. I took the yellow filter out. There was just a little bit of um, paint residue on it. You know, obviously, to look like it's paint on it, but there's only a little bit of something. There was nothing blocking it. Hosed it all off. There was nothing blocking that um, filter actually in the um, gun. So that wasn't stopping it. I don't know whether there's a filter anywhere else. I've not looked, but there shouldn't be a filter that's going to affect anything that what I was spraying as I said that paint was really good really thin that should have been nice to spray um, a 310 uh, 311 sorry so yeah I'm packing it up I'm going to get it all neat I'll put a note on the box I'm going to take it back to see the manager bit of a disappointment but this is what I'm here for I'm here for you to try these things out if it worked for me to have been brilliant it could work for you you might have one of these it's might working for you i might have just a dodgy pump because looking at it i tried to even flush water back through it i stripped off the end um guard that's actually on the end of the suction that wasn't even blocked with paint so i can't even say it wasn't picking up paint because the paint was too thick that's not the problem i tried to even flush water back through it the pump was going it didn't seem to be wanting to be pumping up and sucking up press that little bit of a pump release that needle bearing release you know what I'm on about that little red button that didn't make any difference so I, I might have a just a dodgy pump dodgy um, sprayer but unfortunately this bit of a I can't even call it a bad boy this bad boy this bad boy's um, going back to the shop and um, yeah well it's been worth a try it's been a bit of fun doing we've probably got 40 odd minutes worth of me rabbiting on about this 129 pound sprayer is it as good as the 1290 pound sprayers you can get or even the 750 sprayer migreco well we know it's not um it's just unfortunate it's not worked out for me but it's been an honest review you've seen me open the box from fresh um you've seen me priming it with water so we know it did spray but get to the decent paint and we are using decent paint it's not worked out and then it all suddenly leaked everywhere but it was interesting when I went from zero which is you're off to one two three four five it was the same sound all the way from one to five now if you've got one you might tell me yeah Phil that's what it's like if it might be something going wrong with it but it's happened to me and not you so I've done the testing if I, if I say buy one I'd say test it out you've got nothing to lose there's a three-year warranty but if you are wanting to get into spraying, speak to somebody who knows about spraying, proper spray shop, speak to people who are teaching spraying. I mean, I can show you what I'm doing as a internet teacher. Um, I'm here to, for advice if anybody messaged me like a lot of you do anyway, but this, let's save you money. It's like when people ask me about HVLPs and buying cheap HVLPs. I know they're cheap. I know it might just get you into spraying, but sometimes just wait a month save up a bit more money buy the better sprayer because if you do get it right you'll love it and you'll run with it you won't be walking you'll be running with it and that's what i want you to get to be doing i mean i've said on previous videos if you're an ordinary painter and decorator and you're wanting to up your game spraying's the next step for you We're doing a bit of marbling doing a bit of graining i'll do that on another video i've got doris the door can we call a door of the door that's even better i've got my door 
I'll probably do a video of doing a bit of a marbling on that. I can do that. But for now, we're on about spraying. Up in your game with spraying. It's going to make life easier. Work smarter, not harder. And unfortunately, this hasn't worked out for me. But no, give us a thumbs up. Give us some comments. Like and subscribe. Wait for the next one. But yeah, let's over and out. And um, I'll finish clearing up and um, leave you to it. Thanks for listening to my um, gibbering um, talking. You know what I'm like. Just...